Hi everyone, here is Ali Reza Delakshesh from Arc Motion Studio and today we are going to model the uh, tourist museum designed by big architects and Bjarke Engels which is located in Kisofa Sculpture Park in Yevnaka, Norway. As you see, it's a bridge that serves also as a museum and is uh, created as a box and as a horizontal box which is twisted in the middle. So let's jump in Cinema 4D and start modeling. So to begin with, I'm going to create a box and I'm going to increase the Z axis to something like, uh, let's see, 1000, okay, and I'm going to decrease the height to something like 110, and I'm keeping the ZX direction as 200, okay, and now I'm going to increase the Z axis, but before that let me display activate the guard shading so we can see the lines. And in here, I'm going to give it 180 segments in Z direction. And simply, I can come in deformers and add a twist deformer. And in twist, firstly, I have to rotate it like this. Okay. And now, as you see here, as I rotate it, but before I, I have, I have to put it as a child of the cube. As I put it here, as I rotate it, this will also rotate and twist it. Okay, like this. This is the simplest way to create uh, the simple. This is the simplest way to uh, create the model, but uh, the problem is that uh, we lose some details here on the edges. If I may show you a picture here that I have prepared for you. As you see here, we have some details here on the edges, like this. But here on this method, we will lose all of this, okay? If it's not important for you to go so precise, then it's okay. But if you want to go precise and pay attention to the details, this is surely not the way we want to go, okay? And as I say always, the simplest way are not always the best ways. So, the other method that I use to preserve this detailing here is to using clones and fields. So let me delete this twist and I'm going to make it set segment 1 again and instead of 1000 I'm going to make one say, one object as with a size for Z as 3. Something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this, I'm going to hide it out for the future if something goes wrong, I have access to the old and parametric cube. And now I can just simply make it editable and come to surface and select these two sides. And by shortcut E I can use the inner extrude to get something like this. Okay. And I'm going to bridge it to have something like this. So this is just one element that I have and I put this in a cloner. By default it will make a <coughs> sorry by default it will make a grid array but I'm going to linear and I'm going going to change the direction. As we had before we had three as our segments here, but I'm going to make it minus 3 and here 0, 1 or 0, 2. So that they are not completely connected. You will see now later why I do this. Okay, and now let's increase the segments. I go to 200. Let's see if it's enough. Maybe not 250. 
Okay, I think 250 is a good value that counts here. And now what I can do is <clears throat> by coming here in the cloner and activate the planar factor. And the planar factor, I'm give it a fall off. And the fall off, surely I'm giving it a linear fall off. Okay, I'm, I don't like the color, so I will just change it. Something like this. And the direction, it should be, uh, the fall off direction should be minus Z in this direction. Okay. By default, the plane effector will affect the position in the Y direction. I don't want that. I'm deactivating this, but I want the rotation to be activated. And I want it to be on minus 90. So as I drag this linear field through the object, you will see that I have good and twisted form here as we had before. But this time we have also these details that we were looking for, as you see here. Okay. As you see here, I think the number of counts of the clones are not enough. I make it 270. I'll make, let's make it 300 for now. We can change it whenever we want. So I can drag this inside more. We have something like this. Okay. Now, what we want, we want to make the glass part here. So actually this part. Okay. And this is a bit tricky, but it's not so that difficult. I'm going to just copy this cloner. So let me first uh, rename it to museum, the twist museum, twist museum. And I'm going to copy it now. And this I'm rename it twist museum, twist museum sub. Because I'm going to subtract this from this museum later. So now I can come to the cube. I'm going to hide this one out. Firstly, I'm going to reduce the count to 200 and even more to here. Let me see if I, yes, okay, to here. So we have 173 counts of this object now. But we have to modify the form here. So I can, I am come here and I'm going to deactivate the clone and I'm going to uh, delete the unnecessary parts. I'm going to point, point mode and adjust this to the way I want. So I'm popping this here like this. I'll do the same for bottom part. So I'm selecting the Y value and paste it here. And by right click, I'm going to close polygon holes. I, I'm closing the top and the bottom part. Okay, great. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to surface smooth again. I'm going to select these two surfaces, this side and this side. I'm going to scale it out a bit. I'm going to select this side, this side. And I'm going to give it the value 3.1. Because I want this one to be a little bit bigger than this. Because later on we are going to use the boolean. And if the, mm, they have the both size, the both distance between these two surfaces, the boolean will not work because they are uh, covering each other. Should not cover each other at all. So, now... I'm going to bring it back. We have something like this. 
Of course, we have in effectors, we have the same plane effectors here. But the problem is that if I activate both of them, you will see we have, we are close to what we want, but the window part will be get narrowed as the way, uh, the way up. If you see here, it's not going to be the same. This will get narrowed as it goes up, as in the other picture. You see this here clearer. Yes? So, to get that, I'm coming to my sub form and I'm going to give it a step effector like this. Okay. Firstly, it will look like this. It's not what we want, of course, but we are, I'm going to uh, deactivate the uniform scale. So we are back again here. And here I'm going to use a uh, the same linear field here. Let's see how it's how it is. I'm dragging this here as well, okay. And here, in parameter, I'm going to decrease this value to something like minus point minus point eight. Okay. Now we have the narrow, but it is in the middle. We want to push it up. So I have to activate the position also and push it up. Something like this. Okay. This is a good thing about uh, this method that this is all parametric. So you can define and move and position them whenever you want. You can change the field here. This will affect both of them as you see here. So it's a great way to use this method, I think, because they have too many possibilities and uh, to go and to go and work on okay so now that I have done this let's uh, adjust it a bit more so I think this will be not bad if you push it here but as you see here the transition in step mode is a linear transition I don't want the transition to be linear I want it to be a curve so in what I'm going to do I'm going to my linear fill and in remapping here okay I can make it a curve something like this okay but the problem here as you see here when I change the curve the curve of the structure will change as well so to prevent that I can come here and make it none I am making a copy of the field linear field and drag in a step vector and I rename it step fi uh, linear field curve. Okay. And here in step effector in follow up, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to switch it with this one. Okay. Until now, it's nothing changed, but here now I can uh, control this linear field separately. So I can just come here in the contour and set it to curvature. So now I have access to the this handle and I can make it more interesting. I can bring it so here and this one as here. So we have a great looking transition between these two at the end, as you see here. As I change the form here, the curvature here, it will be changed here as well. So now we don't have a linear transition anymore, just we have a curvature transition. That's exactly what we wanted, yes? Okay, and it's look cool. So now, to prevent the misunderstandings, I'm going to create two nulls. One, I name it Twist Museum. The other one, I rename it Twist Museum Underline Sub. Okay, and I'm putting object here as I want so the twist museum here and the sub museum here this that just affects the uh, twist the sub so I can drag this also here inside and this plane affects both of them so I'm putting it just above okay now I now I'm going to create a boolean and I'm putting these two beneath it. And as I do that, you see that we get our 
result so exact and we have preserved all the details here that we could not have achieved with the first method that I've shown you okay so now this is also done the next part that we need to add to the structure is the glass part here this with this segmentation and this would, should also work fine here so the method here that I use I'm going to twist sub I'm going to bring it the cube and make a copy of it so I have this here okay now I'm going to select all the surfaces and I'm going to deselect this one and delete so we just have a plane here I'm going to select this I'm going to select this. I'm going to move it inward a bit like this. Now I'm going to line node and select this edge and I drag it out. Something like this. Okay. But how much? First, I need to deactivate the plane. Where's my plane? Okay, this is here. I can bring it top. Okay. I can deactivate this one. Sorry, let's deactivate this. No, uh, uh, now I can just select the cube again and drag it here so that it covers our hole here. And now I'm going to solo it out. And by KL, I'm going to make some loop cuts. So let's add loop cuts. Let's Bring it out from it, from the solo mode. I need more points. Okay, I think this is enough for now. And now I can come to the front view and just adjust the points here. So I'm selecting these points. I'm adjusting this. To get close to our form that we have here so like this it doesn't need to be so exact because it will go through the object and we will not see the entire form so now it's okay it looks fine just here I need I think I need to drag this a bit down and this also this is a bit pick and tweak again but it's not a big deal so now we have this like this and we need to use a twist deformer now I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees I bring it here and I put it as a child of the cube I name it glass glass Part. and let's see how it will look when I use the twist of course 90 degree and let's activate the plane too so we get something like this but the problem now here to we have to tweak the twist to make it match with the object so something like this and reduce the size a bit something like this and as you see we have our glass part also added to the structure Okay, we have something here goes on, but this is not a big deal. So now that I have the glass pot, I'm going to copy it here and I'm going to hide it out in case something goes wrong. Now I can select the main glass pot and make it connect object and delete. So it is just an object here. And now I can just select this point and drag it down a bit.
to resolve the issue. And here also, I can just play with these values to make it more natural. Like this. Here for the angle I can give it 10, we have something like this, okay, because also in the image we have also the knicking, or if we want we can give it 91, so we have a flatter looking. This one I think it should go a bit inside, okay. And now we have added also the glass part and it looks great, okay? Now I can select this one as well by holding the control key I can make a copy to this side, to close it. And of course with KL I can make a loop cut again. As you see here, we could model this this model with preserving the uh, details also. What is left here is the uh, structure inside. And by that I mean this uh, truss structure that we have inside. So another picture. This one. You see that here better. You have the truss and the diagonals attached to them. So for that I'm going to select the glass part and I'm going to select this side. You can add this side or let me select this one as well. And firstly I'm going to copy it and rename it to truss. A trust, not trust. Okay, now I can simply or let me come to the glass part and make it x ray so I can see through. Now, by selecting the trust surface, uh, I can simply come and uh, use the D for extrude and make sure that the create cap is off and I'm going to drag it inside. Something like this. Okay, this looks good. And now I can simply come to the edges and uh, select and deactivate the part that I don't want to be in my truss. So this one, this one. Or let me select all these. Dissolve them. And make a look at the game. Okay, seems that we have some extra points here. Let me solo it out to see it better. Okay, you see that we have this extra part so that we don't want them. So by selecting this truss again in the surface mode, I can come to here and invert the selection and delete the undesired surfaces and now yes you see we have some extra points here we should get rid of them so just simply delete it 
And now I'm going to make some loop cuts. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five surfaces here. And I can come here and select this one. And this one. And this one. And dissolve them as well. Okay. This is the place where our horizontal structure will be. This side and this side as well. So I can come and select all of them. Not this one, this edge bone, not this one, and of course not this one. Now I come out of the solo and I'm going to uh, bevel it with the bevel tool and I'm going to bevel it something like this. Three is okay. Now I'm using the extrude. And this time by activating or I can come to surface now. I come to surface. Firstly I'm going to select these surfaces that I don't want. This one, this one, this one. I'm going to delete it. But well, before that, let me make a copy of the truss because I need them for the diagonals later on as well. So now that I, uh, I come to truss, the undesired surface is selected, I'm going to delete it. So now I can come simply select all of them and use this extrude tool, extrude it inward, but the cap should be selected and I make it, uh, minus one. I'm going to inner extrude 0.9 is a good value and extrude again but this time the caps off minus four is a good value again and again inner extrude extrude it outward this time Minus 9 and extrude outward again the value of minus 1. And I select all of them because the normals are turned inside. I can just come here and reverse normals. So here's our, here are our horizontal, our vertical structure of the truss. And now we need to add the diagonals. And if I activate the last part you see that we have this inside and it looks okay so I'm going to deactivate it again and I'm going to select this one this part and I'm using the extrude and the cap should be off and I move it inward so this was or this of one, so the value of minus three should be in the middle of the structure. Something like this. Now I can oh sorry, something I have should have done before, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. I can now uh, go to line mode. I'm going to delete these parts. Oh, not like this. I'm going to preserve these. So I'm come here and select invert and get rid of this. So. Now I'm going to use the knife tool and by sorting the structure out. So by using knife tool, I can create the diagonals like this. So 
so and by selecting them two three four five six seven and something is not correct here we'll come back to it later and I can right click and edge to spline so I have now the spline I bring it out and I can delete this one completely so I have this but here we have I think some extra points like this I can delete this let's make sure that we don't have not desired points okay this looks fine now I need to use a circle I give it a value 1, the radius 1, and I'm using the sweep and put both in a sweep. Like this. And I name it diagonals. Diag diagonals. Now I come out of the solo and we have something like this. And by activating the truss, we get something close to what we looked for and the glass part and you see everything is positioned in the right place and looks fine okay here we may say okay this is not it's a bit short so I can deactivate the glass part the truss I can select the inner part And uh, rotate it. So that you have almost right angle. Come to top view and look it from here. Okay, it's okay. And now I can just drag this a bit down. And the point of the truss should also be positioned in the right place. Something like this. Okay, so as you see, our model is finished, but here I forgot something to tell you. Now as you see, we have full opening here, but the structure just have uh, in opening in this side here, actually. So to correct that, uh, I need to come to the Boolean to our main structure and make sure that the create single object is active and now I can right click and select create connect objects and delete so so just we have just simple object here I can come to the edges I select this edge and move it inward like this and this edge I move it upward like this and we need the glass part here so we can simply come to close polygon hole I think see let's see if it works no so instead I use polygon plan I select this point, this point, this point, this point, and so. And I select it, and I split it, and delete the inside one. Okay. 
and I have the glass glass part as well we don't need this edge selection and I can just simply drag it inward a bit so it's in the, in the right position okay let's create and let's see I can activate the x-ray so so now our modeling is finished I hope that you have enjoyed it and make sure that uh, you subscribe to our channel if you have not and like the tutorial if you liked it or dislike if you didn't like it and uh, write us in the comments what you think or your idea that will help us to make better tutorials for you in the future and see you in the next tutorial and of course before that uh, don't forget to check out our other tutorials that comes at the end of the, this tutorial on the screen. There we have also many interesting tricks and tricks used in each of them. So make sure that you check them out as well. So see you in the next tutorial and have a good time.